Ta-da! Dude! Uh, wow! So... That looks awesome! Hello everybody, my name is Guillaume. And my name is Chris, this is Two Ones Guitars and Basses, and we are going to reveal our own DIY guitars today. DIY kit challenge has been challenged. We oh. have been challenged. Yeah, uh, and it's been a, the... a solid <laughs> two months of uh, ish, Not even. kind of. Kind yeah, of. very, yeah. Wow, so uh, hey. before we do that, we want to remind you that this challenge is still, still running. Yes. And uh, you'll have to use the hashtag DIY kit challenge 22, and you'll have to post a video where you show the guitar and kind of play a few chords. You don't have to play, I don't know, John Petrucci solos, just show us that the guitar is actually working or the bass or the ukulele or the whatever else you are building yeah how long um, is it gonna be it's uh, it's running until june 19th at midnight uh, as chris said use the hashtag diy challenge 22 if you have any other question regarding terms and conditions there'll be a link in the description to the blog explaining to you exactly how you can use those two weeks to win some vouchers by uh, just, uh, pretty big in. olds like 500 mm. 300 euros yeah, whatever yeah five to 500 350 200 i think don't take my word on it link in the description Check but the yes so when that contest started uh chris myself as well as some other term and hosts have been also challenged to build their own kits because we did that last year but we only built the one guitar yeah and it's like chris we assembled it then you modified it then it was painted at the guitar department then i played it it's like it yeah. was a, you know a, a sort of a community efforts yeah. uh, yeah. a, a team built as yeah. you might say but this year no it was uh, to to each our own and uh and fully so we ourselves did. like no help from no one else nope so 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 we did so we did uh um i don't think that this was a very fair competition i'm gonna <laughs> say it out loud and i'm gonna say it right now because chris the guitar tech tips guy you know uh, has built several guitars before. So, and not, not only built, I wasn't too worried about the build as much as I was about finishing a guitar, because that's the first time that I ever paint anything. So... You do, you have all my respect, however <laughs> it looks, and I'm, I'm expecting I'll, it to look better than I expect it to look. I'll give some pictures to, uh, to, to, to uh, our producer. Uh, <laughs> that's our a producers. different producer, <laughs> sorry. Uh, just to show you guys how janky <laughs> my setup was and most <laughs> mostly my painting setup but <laughs> so there's one more thing to say about this subject you are right i have some experience obviously mm -hmm. uh, painted guitars earlier you know built modded whatever but because of that and because me having that serious guitar tech tips oh, he's gonna people the... expect this ah, to be awesome on. so anything less than wow that's pretty good it's gonna be an absolute failure. That's a, if and my no guitar, one expects you to nail this. So who is the guitar, better? If my guitar sticks together as I pull it out of the gig bag, I already won, I think. Yeah, that's exactly my point. <laughs> All right, so without any further ado, wait, I'm gonna wait. start. Yeah, grab the bag and I'll just um, state this. We are not participating in the challenge, okay? Obviously. So don't worry, we are gonna be Two of the judges, we cannot participate. This is just our little duel, and you guys let us know who, in your opinion, won this micro challenge of ours. <sighs> and we obviously didn't see the guitars. We this was this was hard I'm so because nervous. we work in the same space and we yeah. avoided looking at each other's guitars for six, seven weeks, whatever it was. Chris was very adamant as well because I did ask for help several times and every time I was like, no, no, don't want to see it, don't want to look at it. Yeah, I literally, I closed my eyes, I covered the guitar and I, I was told like, like, but look, yeah. but look, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's too long, like, yeah, try the bridge in front, like, can you, can you feel a hole? It doesn't yeah. fit, <laughs> nothing fits, but okay, we'll get okay, back okay. to okay. that. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm so nervous. All right, you ready? Yeah. Ta-da! Dude! How? So, that looks awesome! This is my, uh, my single cut kit. Uh, wow! I mostly just kept the wood. <laughs> <laughs> the painting uh, wow. sort of managed to fit a Bixby on there, even though the body is way shorter. Yeah, that so, was the thing, yeah. Like, it ends up like right there, right on the line with it. But, you know, <laughs> altogether, I am pretty happy with the uh, 
wow. the result uh, of that guitar. It looks and it plays and it sounds beautiful. And wow, uh, yeah, that is the junkiest G I've ever written in my life. I think it's we not have, bad. I think we also have footage of that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll understand why it's janky. <laughs> can see that it looks horrible from here, uh, but yeah. You, you, you mentioned the, the G and I was expecting it to look terrible, but yeah. it's, it's funky. It's, it's you know, funky, yeah. It's yeah. a Renegade guitar, so it kind of works. Wow, it's the, the Renegade is really good, man. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't have time to finish, so there's yeah. still, like, it's still Some, a work in progress. You can see that it's Relic yeah, on yeah. this part, but it's otherwise, the sanding this and is everything. absolutely so I still want to awesome. tint uh, some of some of that. I still want to keep uh, relicking the guitar, and I want to, without wow. like, trying not to overdo it. But um, yeah, I also wanted to set in the neck and do a bunch of other stuff. But like time constraints. No, it's fine. It's cool. Um, yeah. So wow. But altogether, I'm really really happy with it. I'm very impressed, man. Thank you. I wanted to banter the hell out of him, <laughs> but I honestly, <laughs> it would be just fake bantering. Yeah. No, uh, wow, honestly, these are thick strings. What are these? Twelves, elevens, twelves? No, no, no. Uh, sixteen to what? Sixty-eight. <laughs> so it's, uh, what? It was it was made for open C, and right now I think it's in C standard. Wow. It it feels nice. It it really does. It's a pretty low action, lower than what I'm used to, but it it does sound really good. Uh, shout out to Mojo Tone for the pickups because, oh, yeah. oh my god, those those are the 59 low wound uh, Mojo Tone pickups nice. and they are phenomenal. Super happy about those. Uh, uh, you, you do want to put in two screws there though because no. I don't, I'm not sure if this one will hold this. I mean, you'll see. I've, I've, I've had that Bixby set up on my other guitar for like four years. I have <laughs> <laughs> Like this? Okay, okay. Then I'm just, you know, over whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, you know, don't want to over I have a guitar for it. you. <laughs> okay. I know what you meant when you told you were so shaken and nervous. Yeah, I was nervous. I was nervous. Really, I was really nervous. nervous. Like a really... Cue drum roll. Gotta be perfect. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. This is my, I'm, I'm literally nervous. I, I like, thought so. <laughs> I feel like the first time on stage when I was 14 or 15, it's, uh, it's my offset. And, uh, oh man. Blue, pale and blue over gold top. Yeah, age pale and blue over gold top. And uh, then some wood carving and uh, some aging and uh, yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> and these are also Mojo Tone, uh, tone uh, pickups, the low wound P90s and uh, Goto bridge and uh, tuners. Um, I wanted to go with the vintage ones because on a guitar like this, I yeah, would have preferred like yeah. the vintage Klusen style. But the um, the holes are 10 millimeter or 10 point something. Ten so ish. <laughs> 10 ish, yeah. So uh, you I've can't really use well. the, the vintage tuners, which need an eight point something. So like a, a, a vintage yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, spacing or uh, yeah. uh, drilling. So, yeah, but it, it looks cool, and I aged them to a point where it doesn't matter that they're not <laughs> yeah, vintage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, the guitar is insane. Uh, I even managed to have some weather checking, but not a lot, uh, because uh, I used this um, ice shock spray. It didn't work on mine. It, it worked, know. but it, it it's barely work. visible. Like in certain light, whatever it angles, also, it, it works. Also a thing, like, just after, because again, no idea what I was doing with any of it, but I was like, <laughs> Texting Chris and was like, so I did the final like clear coat uh, weather checking thingy. Has yours cracked? It's like, no, nope. not yet. Okay, <sighs> then right. it's not me. <laughs> two days later, has it cracked? <laughs> nope, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to use that spray, and still it's like barely visible. This will change because uh, finish will sort of dry out. Yeah, and you I'm will hoping see that it more. changes as well. Yeah. I, other, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. What but... I'm really ah, oh, you can see it here right now, a little bit. Uh, we'll do oh, some yeah, uh, close-ups. That's pretty. And this is my favorite running yeah, part. Yeah. This turned out really good. Uh, we'll so good. show you some pretty B-rolls 
of the guitars. Um, some are nice, some are like, well, I'm not sure yet if I might <laughs> change it. And I have 11 to 52 um, earnable strings on it, and it's in D standard. The lower, the better, is what I'm saying. All right. Yeah, we, we, we are on a, so let's, uh, a trip, like the low tuning trip. Should I? You want to play it? Yeah, I do. I know what you mean, man, with the pickups. It's just, there's all the clarity, even yeah, though you're yeah. tuned way down with and like on the super neck. thick strings yeah, yeah. on the neck pickup with a fuzz and the pan yeah, yeah. on. It's like, what? Yeah, it sounds just, yeah, the amount of clarity to it. It's just so much, like it, it, you know, kind of a woody snappiness. Yeah. Woody snappiness. Woody yeah. snappiness. Yeah. Oh my God. The words All those nice words. Yeah. Give me some white wine and let me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me snip some cork. Uh, yeah. Um, Super happy. I'm very happy and low key kind of proud. So, um, <laughs> everyone, that's it for Pink Strat Guillaume. I'm done. I'm done. It's like now. <laughs> Red DIY game <laughs> Honestly, from today. <laughs> it's such, I mean, it's a yeah. bit of a bummer, not gonna lie, the amount of money I put on my strand. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then you play like an 80 year old kid or something. It's yeah. Like, it tricked yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, sure, but still. Talking of good sounding 80, 90 year old kids, well, if you count everything together, you know, already the finish yeah. is like, what was it, like 200 something euros? Just the cans, the spray cans, so. Yeah, sure. Like, all together, may, you, you may be closer to like 800-ish. Yeah. yeah, with like all the nice everything. parts and everything. Yeah, yeah. But still, though. And the amount of work, that's insane. In case you're interested yeah. in how I made this guitar, the uh, first part of my building um, is, like, the first part of that mini-series is on my channel. Uh, it's online for a few days and the, uh, the second one where I finished the whole guitar uh, is coming out tomorrow on Thursday on 20 something, six, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, if you wanna check that out, do and it. If you wanna if check not, mine out, just picture everything that Chris did, but worse. <laughs> and without the tools. <laughs> and this is my guitar.
And it's a DIY guitar. Come yeah, I mean, on. I, I expected it to work. So, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't know we were going to go metal, too. Uh, well, can you? I mean, you have the right amp. I can do anything. <laughs> also, I'm dropped now. It's happening. Somewhat in tune. What is that now? A sharp. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. The Guillaume Lick. That's it. No. So cool, man. Um, so who won? What do you think? Uh, I'm usually not that kind of guy because I, I don't like ties. <laughs> I don't like ties. I think, I think we both played at a different level and we both achieved our best potential, sort of. <laughs> sort of. In retrospect, there's so many things that I did wrong. So many like painting decisions and like the time that I had and the time that I put into the weight in between the layers and the fact that I did not sand most of those layers. Oh, so ouch. like there's still like a lot wrong on it and it's still a work in progress at least to me. Things like also just plugging the hole and screwing directly into it without even leaving the glue dry. Like, there's so much I should have done different. But altogether, I feel like uh, as, as jank of a setup as that was for me, uh, I'm super happy with the result. The guitar sounds great. It plays great. This is loud. <laughs> uh, it sounds great, plays great. Like, I've been picking that guitar up more than any of my Same other guitars, which makes me feel really bad for them. But <laughs> altogether, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, just super happy. And... Yeah, I feel like you did better in terms of like working out the details and whatnot. Yeah. Like people will realize as soon as we put close-ups of the guitars that <laughs> you know there's a quality difference there. But um, yeah, so I I want to say I won in my category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, to me it's it's again a um, a mixture because just in terms of making guitar and giving all we can give. I would say you won because it's your first one That's and it. the first one is always special and you definitely like nailed it. Like I, I really was not expecting anything other than something funny. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, not because you're like not capable of doing whatever. It's because it's the first and I know that you're not the most uh, detail possessed person <laughs> in the world. So I was expecting you to just, you know, gunning it like whatever, uh, you know. And well, that was very much the process. <laughs> I'm happy the result doesn't scream that because <laughs> the process that even was more so, messy. Man. <laughs> that even more so because this looks proper, like a proper guitar. Yeah. And that's really cool. If I'm like super picky and like looking with my Don't professional be. eyes, I would say I won't. But I mean, you know, that's not really a fair uh, competition. I, I think, I think I vote G. Oh, and now I'm the bad guy. Nice. That was the voice. <laughs> now I'm the self-centered. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But what we really want to know is which of these two guitars would you take home? That's actually a good point. That is a good question. Let please us know in the this. comments. Exactly. Uh, while you're down there, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on the results of that uh, hashtag DIY Kit Challenge with DIY Kit Challenge 22. Yeah, nailed it. Which you can still <laughs> participate in and it's going to be running until, what was it, June 19th. 19th. June 19th. Uh, consider building a guitar. First of all, it's a lot of fun. Second of all, really you can is. win crazy vouchers and stuff. And um, yeah. No, I'm, I'm happy I did it. I'm super happy. I'm done with it because <laughs> it took all my time ever. Yeah. But it's a such weekend, a good guitar. And I, I'm dying to try yours out. So uh, cool. let's wrap up this video and uh, I'll do just that. Yeah. You guys take care and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Meet you down there in the comments. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.